and IT shop sells tablets at the rate of 2.25 per week. Find the probability that the shop sells less than 11 in a four week period. If the shop wishes to make sure that the probability that it sells out a tablet is less than 0.05 in a four week period, find the smallest number of tablets they should stock. Right, the, the, the two, two parts. Uh, the time interview and the initial time interview in the question is per week, so you need to make note of that. So let x be the random variable, the number of tablets sold in a IT shop per week. X will be uh, normally this, uh, will be Poisson 2.25. However, we're interested in a four week period. So we're going to let y be the random variable, the number of tablets sold in a four week period. Therefore, y is Poisson 4 times 2.25, which is Poisson 9. We require the probability that y is less than 11. Less than 11. So that's equal to probability y is less than or equal to 10. So using the PDF, using G-algebra, uh, that's the PDF. Okay, so what we want to find is this shaded area here. We get that by summing those probabilities. Better would be to use the community distribution function, which you get from this. It's the probability calculator, calculator in GeoGebra. Okay, and we'll get the answer straight away there. It's 0 0.706. If we go back again, you see the same answer down here. Okay, but in the exam, you're normally given tables. So that's a PDF. Send those probabilities. Normally we use the CDF, okay, and we want this one here, 0 0.706. So it gives me, that's already to three significant figures. We've got 0 0.706 to three significant figures. Part B. If the store wishes to make sure that its sales out of tablets is less than 0 0.05 in a four-week period, find the smallest number of tablets they should stock. So we've got plus on nine because we're considering the four-week period. Let y, little y, be the number of tablets in stock. Sorry, we'll just go back. Y is plus on 9, not x. Let y be the number of tablets in stock. We want the probability that y is greater than y. All right, y is the number of tablet, tablets uh, that are sold in a four week period. This is the number of tablets that are sold in a four week period. We want this to be bigger than that to be in stock, but we need that needs to be less than 0 0.05. Now to do greater than y, we need to do one minus y, probability that y is less than or equal to little y, is less than 0 0.05. And if we uh, if we take that over there and that over there, we get that the probability that y is less than or equal to y must be greater than 0 0.95. If we uh, go to the PDF, let's... so we've got 9 add 13 we don't get go past 0 0.9261 however if we put in 14 we will go over and you can see this bit here is going to be 1 minus this bit here this is where we do 1 minus okay if we click here we can go to the CDF and we would scroll down here until we've gone past 0 0.95. The first one we get where we go past 0 0.95 is 14. That's how it works. So there's a copy of the PDF and the CDF table. So if we go down here we get to 0 0.9585. 13 is 0 0.2 so we haven't gone past that. Here's where we go past it. Therefore probability that y is greater or equal to 14 is going to be greater than 0 0.95 and therefore the shop should keep 14 tablets in stock. Okay I hope you've understood this and I thank you very much for watching.